Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part five video on laser web assembly CRUD sample where we use .NET 7 API as backend and Mudblazer UI components. So the main goal of this video is to implement the update operation. Okay, to implement the update operation in API project, we have to create two endpoints. One is get endpoint by ID value because we need to fetch the data of the which we want to update, right? So for that, we need to create a HTTP get by ID endpoint. And next endpoint that is HTTP put endpoint, which is update endpoint. Next in Blazor WebAssembly application, we have to add the update form. Okay, in our web API project, go to our iSuperhero service file. Here, let me add a method definition first. Like task, and it's going to return single superhero item. Okay, get superheroes by ID. Okay, and it should have input parameter like integer ID. So let's define this method, sorry, implement this method in our iSuperhero service controller. Okay, let's implement. So here, I can write like, Await my old DB context superhero stable dot find. We can use first or default async. Okay, and I can query here. Okay, so it will create a where condition based on our ID parameter. Now let's create a get endpoint in our controller so go to the controller let's create one more http get endpoint okay public async task i action result get async i am going to create a overloaded method okay it will contain integer id value Okay, and HTTP get. Since I have two get endpoints, right? I need to specify some route. Okay, by default, controller supports only one action method without route. If we have more than one, then we have to specify the route explicitly. So here, in I will specify a route like with ID to get. Okay, so here, open flower brackets. And specify the input parameter value. Here ID I specified, right? Same value I have to give here. And I can specify its type as well. Okay. Now where result equal to my superhero service get by heroes async ID. And finally, okay, and I must await it. Okay. Okay, here in the swagger we can see our get by ID endpoint. Let's try out. Okay, I will give like ID one. Okay, so if the record exists, it will return response. See, I am getting the first record. Okay, that means we have successfully implemented our get by ID endpoint. Now let's implement our HTTP put endpoint. For that, let's define a method. Here, so task superheroes and update superheroes async. So superheroes payload, okay, superhero. Okay, this is my method. So let's implement it. 
let's implement okay so for add what we have done we used add method right so for update i can use update method my old db superheroes dot update method and pass our payload so context changed we have to call the save changes async method since it is a async method right we have to await it and finally return our updated superhero so that's it we are done with our logical implementation now let's create the http put endpoint so public async task i action result okay and put async and it should contain the payload so superheroes update superhero okay and the method must decorated with http put okay now where result equal to right superheroes dot update superhero okay and finally return the output okay in the swagger we can see our update endpoint now we have to add a update form in our blazor webassembly application okay go to our blazor webassembly application so in the superheroes let's create a new blazor component okay name it like edit super heroes okay now what we can do most of the logic we can copy from our add superheroes component so let me copy the entire code and we will modify it okay so first thing we have to change the route let's change it to edit okay we need http and navigation also let's update the create superheroes to update a superhero okay and remaining form content will be same okay here button label i can change to i can change to update and here instead of create superheroes async we can write it like update superheroes async and here put as json async okay and uh, endpoint is same and navigation logic also same so we have done most of the changes okay let's map the appropriate on submit event method okay now the now we have to populate our form right so we have to fetch id value how we can fetch means in the route we can fetch the id value so let me add a dynamic placeholder in the route flower brackets and specify the id and its type okay to read this id value in our component we can use normal property okay so private int id and it must be decorated with parameter attribute so that it will read the value from the route okay okay we should not create private it should be public when we decorate with parameter okay now let's invoke the get api call so get api call must be invoked when the component is rendered so we know a life cycle method on initialized right so our right okay here i can call 
my get by id async endpoint okay so here what i will do to the superheroes model i have to bind the api response okay so await so override protected override async task okay Await underscore HTTP and get JSON async and type is our superhero VM. Okay. And here we have to prepare the dynamic route because we have ID value to pass, right? So to generate the dynamic route, we have to use dollar and the double quotes. And here pass this API slash ID our endpoint. Okay, open flower brackets and pass the ID value. Okay, that's it. We are done with our edit form logic. Now in the all superheroes component, we have to add the edit button on each item because we have to edit means we have to navigate right so we have to add the edit button so for that here in the card i will add one more section like mud card actions okay action represents where we can render the button okay so here let's add a edit icon so go to Mudblazer, Mudblazer website, go to components and check for icons. Okay. So here is the code for icons. So let me copy any one of these. Okay. And add here. And here I have to change like uh, edit. Okay. And change title also like edit. So let me create a on click event. Okay. On on click, it should be at the rate on click. Okay. And here, what I will do on clicking, we have to navigate to our edit form, right? So I will write a logic similar to our this one. Using navigation, but here our route should be dynamic. Okay, and here it should be edit slash and my dynamic value I can get from the item dot id. Okay, that's it. Let's run and test our update operation. Okay. Okay, here you can see your edit buttons, right? So let inspect element. Okay. Go to networks. Okay, let me edit this item. See, I am able to populate the data into my update form. If you check the network call, see here, we are getting the response. Get by ID API. Okay, now let me update the name like the first Avenger Captain America. Okay, click now click on update. And now here you can see the name is updated. And if you observe the network call, here is our put and here is our payload for update. And here you can see our Data is successfully updated and it is also displaying on our home page. Okay. That means we are successfully done with the update operation. Next, we are going to deal with delete operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like the video, please do support by subscribing to channel and also please don't forget to like and share like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off